Today we are going to talk about Vim-like key bindings in your command line shell or in your shell using the command line. Well actually it's a particular thing called read line and uh, it really all it is it's what it's a library on used by bash. So if you're using bash or even uh, zsh or whatever shell it will take the user input and read it basically read it okay and what's interesting about this is by default you don't get vim like bindings well technically it's vi bindings and if you don't know what vi is vi is what came before bash uh no sorry what am i talking about wind back the clock there a vi is what came before vim and it's the original vim if you like so there you go so uh, you can get these kind of bindings if you use Vim in your shell. So I don't know DD to delete the line or uh, YY to yank the line. If you know what I'm talking about, otherwise you can look up Vim key bindings, or you can carry on watching the video. We're going to demonstrate a couple of these. I will put uh, some stuff in the description. So um, well, let's just kind of get into it. I hope that's given a nice little premise there. So of course can't have one of my videos without having the arch wiki of course so this is the read line library so it's run by the GNU project used by bash and other cli programs to edit and interact with the command line and then there's um here you go there's an arch linux man page interestingly they've got a man page so get a line from the user with editing read line will read let's maximize this will read a line from the terminal and return it using prompt as a prompt. You can read all this stuff up if this interests you. I hope that's just given you a summary. We'll see it in action. I just want to set uh, the the premise, okay? So um, how do we get Vim-like keys in the terminal? I will just say uh, I do have one person who regularly comments on my channel. Thank you very much. I do apologize. I won't say your name. Um, I would have to check your name just to make sure I don't make a mistake but I do know you use Emacs so I don't know if you use the Emacs bindings in your shell or terminal but I think they're set as default maybe we'll have a look uh, yeah here we go here we go so if you are somebody who uses Emacs by default you have Emacs shortcuts however like it says here we're doing VI shortcuts we're doing Vim shortcuts so um, if you you can end the video there, or you might have ended the video there already, but if you're Emacs, you're already sorted. Uh, I will put um, Emacs bindings, uh, there's a little cheat sheet in the terminal, term, in the description for you. Okay, let's carry on this video. We need some momentum here, we need some momentum. Okay, so, um, ah, you know what? I was thinking, oh no, we can, we can, sorry, don't worry, don't panic, James, it's all okay. I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have to p-kill i3 and kill the stream. No, because we can source our bash RC. So what we're going to do is we are going to set, as you see here, um, set dash o v i in our bash RC. Bash RC is what gets loaded when you load your shell, basically, in, in user space, let's say. You can read all this stuff up. We've gone on far too long, so I'm going to go into, this makes it a bit bigger. I'm going to go into my bash RC. And uh, at the bottom here, I'm going to put set, oh, set dash O, is it VI? As you know, this is my testing computer. I haven't really, we, I'm just adding stuff as we go, as, as the channel's videos are coming out, so there isn't much in here. So this is basically the first time I've shown you Bash RC on here. And as you can see, it's pretty empty. I don't really like too much stuff in here anyway, so I'm okay with that. Um, so there we go, set dash o v i. So this is going to um, load up our v i or vim bindings. Okay, so let's save that, and uh, we're going to do source uh, dot bash r c, and that should should allow us to use bash uh, sorry, vim or v i keys. So if I start typing and I hit escape see the cursor and I hit DD deleted okay so I press DD twice that is a vim binding well 
I can't remember the technical term, but it deletes the line or deletes the line and puts it into a, a buffer for you to paste it or whatever. There you go, I hit P, so that pastes it. So we, we can see some of the v, uh, VI bindings are working. Lovely, Mwah. I know you love me doing that, so there we go. So let's look at some cheat sheet stuff. Be aware you do not get a whole suite of Vim in your read line. It's just some Vim bindings. It's not perfect. It's just better than nothing, unless you're on Emacs and you use Emacs, you're not going to use VI. Okay. So there's some you can look into the read line stuff. There's more stuff here, and you can do other things with the read line. But we're all all about all fast word movement. Interesting on X term. Maybe I should do a video about that. Not that I care about X term. It's just what I use right in the graphical environment. So if I go here, we can see here's a a cheat sheet for um, using VI editing, whatever. So let's have a little look. Is there anything interesting here? So, okay, switch command mode, so escape. I mean, it'd be nice to be able to map JJ or caps lock. I guess you could technically do that um, with whatever, but anyway. So I to insert cursor, bef uh, insert before cursor, A after cursor. So for example, if I do escape and I do B, okay, and I hit A, as you can see, after D, I could now um, I could put in text. Let's let's ha put in a little sentence. Let's make this uh, empty. So I'm going to put the quick brown ooh, quick brown fox. Ooh, that was awkward. Jumps over the lazy dog. Okay. So let's let's have a little play around here. So if I hit escape and I press zero, it goes to the end of the line. If I hit shift G, it goes. Ooh, no, that's not. That did not work. Okay. Oh, that's so annoying. The quick brown fox jumps over the, the lazy dog. So if I hit escape, zero put me to the beginning of the line. As you know in Vim, zero puts you to the beginning of the line. If I hit capital A, that takes me to the end of the line and into edit mode. Okay. Now, so I'm guessing. Uh, G, capital G isn't going to put you to the end of a document because that's Vim. This is not necessarily a document, it's the read line. I hope that makes sense. So we've got capital I, so you can insert at the beginning of a line, insert the end of a line as we did, um, capital A, uh, so yeah, capital A, sorry. Uh, C, change the text of a command. Uh, so for example, you can do you can still do combinations, okay? So if I hit escape, escape, okay? And I want to change the word over, I can press C, W. Puts me in insert mode and I can change that word so I can put on the lazy dog. See what I did there? Hit escape, I'm now back into um, I'm now back into normal mode. So I can use W to go by word, I can use B to go back a word. And so forth. So I'm kind of covering the cheat sheet while I'm just I'm just spilling out all this stuff. What I usually use it for. So you can change the text at the end of the line. Capital C. CC change the current line. Oh, that's cool. So CC will change the whole current line. I guess. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. See. I don't even know. So CC. CC. There. You see. You see. C. You see. Yeah. That was bad. So, the quick brown, let's leave that. Um, I'll replace a single character. Anything else interesting? V, edit, and execute the current command. So, it might be little specialist things here. I don't know. L or space, move one character right. Yeah, so again, Vim binding. So, if I go oh, L or whatever. Uh, da, da, da. So, if I, the quick oh, insert. There we go, the quick. Brown box jumps, and I hit escape, and I go hey, H H. Uh, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, you know what Vim keys are. You know what Vim keys are. So you can. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Where am I going? Gone up a page. Okay, right. So yeah, there's there's just lots of stuff in here. Lots of stuff. 
Uh, dollar move to the first non-blank. Uh, move to the end of the line, of course. Dollar. Mm. Learn to vim, James. Learn to vim. Of course, dollar will take you to the end, not GG. I'm just looking at like literally the end of a document because it's not a document. That's why it doesn't work. <laughs> if I had a brain. A uh, percentage move to the corresponding opening, closing bracket, and all this kind of stuff. Uh, character finding commands. Oh, so you can find, of course, you can find characters. I mean, would you really do this? Um, I don't know. I'm just entering commands usually and whatever. Maybe you would. Maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, X will delete, like in Vim, DD as you've seen, capital D, delete the end of the line. You've got to remember this isn't really um, Vim, a Vim document, for example, so you, your functionality is probably going to be less. Although, of course, with, um, what is it, a backspace or whatever, you can go to another line in your, in your read line or whatever. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a video on this kind of stuff. So you P for paste. Oh, it's just loads of things here. You can search history. Great. Here you go, some nice little examples apparently. And that's kind of it. Transpose characters, insert a character, literally. Set numeric argument. Yeah. It's, maybe it's not perfect, I don't know. You've got to remember it is not the Vim document editor, the Vim text editor, sorry. It's just what it is. And of course, it's VI, it's not Vim, so I guess there's that. So yeah, for Bash, I mean, I think it uses, works in ZSH. You can look up the documentation. Um, ZSH will have their own stuff, of course. Um, whatever shell you're using, I'm sure there's probably some implementation. You can you can look all that up. So yeah, here's for Emacs people. There's Emacs stuff here. You might like Emacs. Um, shortcuts as default anyway even if you use vim i don't know i'll put this in the description anyway i personally could not continue any more using this testing machine without some uh, vi shortcut mode in my bash rc so now that's done that's just nice i like that hopefully it's useful to you maybe you do it already maybe you don't maybe you didn't know it existed maybe you did but you never thought to try it there you go, this is a little video showing you how to use it. So, um, there we go. DD, thanks for watching. Fake YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye. That's it. That's it, guys. That's the video. Uh, there we go. There we go.